We had several thousand uh, protesters. Six days after the death of George Floyd, and they grew uh, violent. And vandalism and looting and flames were all tearing through Long Beach. I know we're seeing some very disturbing images on TV. Now, nearly two and a half years later, they could not really react to what was unfolding. Some of those images remain. Do this nonsense. Do you feel like this is a sign of what your competitor is all about? I think it is. It symbolizes failure right there. Sheriff Alex Villanueva capitalizing on that perceived failure. They burned the whole thing. Not only with a business owner still seeing boarded up windows years after watching his suit store burn. It destroyed your business. The, yes, they did. Or with the jewelry store owner still seeing the wreckage from severe looting. At that moment, did you think, oh boy, I'm in trouble? Yeah. But capitalizing on the fear of continuing crime. Hello. All while campaigning at former police chief Robert Luna's front door. Oh, you got pepper spray. Pepper spray and then this noise maker. This is really the, the center of the differences between you and Luna. Yes, because as sheriff, you have to make your own decision of how you're going to defend the entire county. Luna has defended his past decisions. Windows ...and start looting stores. Do you remember that moment? I do. Is that a failing on your part? I don't believe it was a failure. And points out that he succeeded in controlling overall crime in his city far better than the sheriff has in the county. While the homicide rate stayed steady under his reign in Long Beach, the homicide rate in the county almost doubled. It went up 94%. But the homicide rate in Long Beach, he's not talking about pandemic in past pandemic. Throughout the entire nation, it went up double digits everywhere. His crime fighting throughout the entire county has caused controversy. All right. Villanueva accused of overstepping during homeless sweeps in Venice Beach. It was uh, something that needed to be investigated properly. Covering up jailhouse video of a deputy's knee on an inmate's neck. Even accused of investigating political rivals. A lot of controversy surrounding these warrants. Do you think that's going to impact your re-election? There is no controversy all surrounding the warrants. Are you targeting your enemies? No, we target complaints of crime. And in this race, welcome to debate night. The sheriff has always come running back to crime, now targeting Luna for not recognizing White it. White supremacy, you should be very familiar with that. Not investigating it. He's not going to touch public corruption. And not solving when it. When Long Beach was burning down in the middle of the riots, where was my opponent? Everything he just said was false. Were those attacks from the sheriff successful? Uh, they were lies. You have them on stage tonight uh, making up information. That is very concerning. That concern is partially why Luna believes he's ahead in the polls, but Villanueva remains confident his type of campaigning is working. How confident tonight after this last debate are you that you're going to win? I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic. Arriba abajo. And on the streets, he sees the optimism. Thank you. All right, you got it. From those who it. see him as an answer to their problem. You're watching the bad people, like the looting, in uh -huh. and out, in and out, but the police did do nothing. After listening to his speeches, and I feel more protected. How will this change if you get a second term? Well, this is going to be something in the distant past for starters. Four years have now passed with some successes and some smoldering controversies, all leading Villanueva believes to him rising to a second term. Do you think these controversies hurt you or do you think at the end of the day they actually help you? Well, I think you got to realize they help for one simple reason, because it just illustrates who I am, what I've been my entire life. I'm Alex Villanueva and I'm running. In the, your first campaign ad, you said, I'm not a politician. politician. I'm not a bureaucrat. Crime is up, morale is down, and, and recruitment, recruitment is even is lower. Even lower. Mm -hmm. Is that still true? Is that who you are today? Oh, that's exactly who I am. And that is why it's so controversial.